Exciting times, Denon is introducing new DJ equipment for the Prime setup. And I can't wait for you to see it. It's right here in this box. Let's open it. Here. We have inside the box, another box. Ah! Look at that. There it is. Let's open this up. Hey, look at that. This is nice too. It's compatible with DJ Pro and Virtual DJ. High resolution, eight and a half inch jog wheel, performance pads. And look, it actually looks like a SC6000, but without the display. The actual player, plastic here. In here, a USB cable. This is a power USB cable. Oh yeah, because here it says as well, the LC6000 Prime can be powered and operated using just the USB connection. So it's an optional power supply in here. Let's see. Might be needed for standalone functions. User guide right here. And then we have the player, of course. Here it is. It's a tiny little... SC6000. Actually, it's not tiny, it's the same size, but only the display part is missing here. Look, instead of the display, we have a needle drop, but there it is. And this right here, this always feels so good. Taking the plastic off straight away. And the first thing I see is everything is pretty much the same as a SC6000. The knobs feel the same. The jog wheel feels the same. Ooh, I love these jog wheels. All the hot cue buttons are there. They feel the same. And there it is, the LC6000. In a nutshell, it looks like the SC6000, but without the display. And instead of the display, there's a little needle drop strip, but all the rest, like the pitch slider, the 100 millimeter pitch slider, the 8.5 inch jog wheel with HD display, even the loop knob or the selection knob feel very similar and are actually the same as the SC6000. I'm excited to get it connected. Apparently it's plug and play. On the back, it's just the power button and the USB in port. So let me get my prime setup ready and attach this and we'll have a look. I still find it fascinating that there's nothing on the back and just the USB um, output and apparently it draws its power from the USB output of uh, deck A. So I just plug this in. So how my setup is, is that this is layer A and this is layer B going into the mixers channel one and two here. And then the LC6000 knows that it's gonna be layer B, the layer B on the digital out of deck A. Technical story, but it works because it does. Watch how this screen changes when I hit the on and off button on the LC6000. Okay, so it's powering on right now. Did you see that? Did you catch that? This screen just changed from the regular Prime setup to it almost looks like the Prime 4 type of screen where layer B, so obviously the layer button here is off. Layer B shows up in here. If I would load in a track, what it does, it says uh, to which deck do you want it to load to, just like the Prime 4. So in this case, I want it to be deck B, which is the LC6000, deck B, and it puts it right here on the layer. And when I rotate the jog wheel right here, you, you'll see, or press play, obviously, you'll see that it's this track running. Track A, is this jog wheel or whenever I press play here, hit the loop and cue buttons. And then the same goes for deck B over here on the hot cues. So then the cool thing is if you're in the mix right here on deck A and you will say you wanna mix uh, deck B, you finally have the ability to line up the waveforms, which hasn't been there yet on the, on the official big prime setup but this this is a step forward and so denon is bringing the prime 4 layout the super handy user-friendly layout to the prime setup series and i'm super excited about that and so after plugging it in here's something strange i was trying to put my usb in and 
there's no ports on the LC6000. So what it does, it gets its data from the SC6000. So your USB just goes into the player and then the LC6000 will play your track from there. But now you can see that it's actually a controller. The LC6000 is a dedicated sublayer control for all the Prime Series media players. In short, it's a touchable layer. So where you have the one player and you're switching from layers and this could be a little bit scary in the past. Denon took that layer, took it out of the box, put it into a new box, just a dedicated controller and there you have it. You're finally able to touch your layer. In short, everything that's happening on this deck you'll see and be able to control on this deck. The display of deck A is actually the display that's missing on the LC6000. Two units become one, how about that? Okay, so let's talk about the needle drop some more because what's the use if you're able to control the deck on the deck A display, what's the use of having an additional needle drop there? Well, it's light, it can function as a standalone, and so what is it exactly? From what I've been told, the LC6000 can be used as a standalone MIDI controller usable for Serato DJ Pro, Virtual DJ, Algorithm, and many more DJ applications on the way. So that's super exciting. And as a standalone, it does make sense then if you don't have a screen to be able to control what is going on in your track on the needle drop. And Denon, per usual, spoiled me. They didn't only give me one player, but they gave me two players. And so now I would be able to do a four deck mix using four of these players all across the board. Would you be interested in seeing an In My Mindset on these? If you are, if you want to see me do a four deck mix with two LC6000s in there, make sure to leave it down in the comments below.